Hi guys, my name is Chris. Today we're gonna take a look into how we can download and install Linux onto your computer. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so let's um, jump right straight into it. So let's, um, my main system is a Linux machine. I'm going to be using Windows 7 for this um, demonstration because that's what I'm guessing most of you guys are running is Windows. So let's jump straight on into it then. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and open up my web browser. And I'm going to do a search for Linux Mint. I'm going to go ahead and click on the first link here. It says Linux Mint um, main page, which is linuxmint.com. Once we get to this page, we want to go ahead and click on the download button. We tell you what it will tell you what version we are downloading. We are downloading Linux Mint 17.3 Rosa. So I'm going to scroll down, and you can see there is different versions of Linux Mint. If you remember, guys, we talked about desktop environments uh, uh, in our last blog. So they've got them here. So we got the Cinnamon desktop. So let's take a look. So we got we got Cinnamon, Cinnamon no, uh, no Kodak. Simon o OEM, Mate, Mate Low Codex, Mate OEM, KDE, and XFCE. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna go and download the Linux Mint Mate desktop. So we've got two options here we can have no Codex or with the Codex. In other words, we can play music and videos and whatever else. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the one with multimedia support and I'm going to choose the 64-bit edition the reason I'm cho uh, choosing the 64-bit edition is because I've got more, more than 4 gigabytes of RAM in my computer and my processor supports 64-bit um, most mod modern systems will ha yeah, I would recommend going 64-bit but check what RAM you've got and check to see if your processor is you know supports 64-bit so I'm going to go ahead and click on 64-bit. It will now take you to this page. We want to click this link that says Torrent. Okay. So once we click on that button, it will download a small little file that we can uh, we click on. Now, in order to download Linux Mint, you will need to have a Torrent client installed onto your computer. Um, I'll be using QTorrent. Or Qubit on it, uh, tell a lie, um, which I have already installed on here. And also, you will need IMG burn as well, so we can burn the image later on onto a DVD. So, the way we can get them is we simply to do a Google search for them. So, we're going to go Qubit Torrent. The, the web address is qubittorrent.org. I'm going to go ahead and click on the first link here. I'm going to go ahead and click on download. And there's the versions, you know, these are the ones we want. We want the version for, win uh, for Windows, right? The next problem you'll need is IMG Burn. So I'm going to go IMG Burn. I'm going to hit enter. Uh, the web address is imgburn.com, the official IMG uh, Burn website. I'm going to head on, click on the download link, and then you just choose one of these sources here, one of these mirrors. Once you've had the, have them downloaded and installed, okay, we want to click on the torrent file. I, I 
let me fix this guys um, I have forgot I had it already on there let's try that again okay I'm gonna go ahead into my downloads this file I'm gonna click on the file it's gonna ask me to add the you know into my tongue click I'm gonna click OK now it's going to download the file okay um, I've already got this downloaded to save time, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And if we head over to our downloads folder, as you can see, it's there. Lin I'm using an old version of Linux Mint. I'm using Linux Mint 17 for this um, demonstration. So, the next thing you need to do is burn that onto a DVD. So, the way we can do that is by using IMG Burn. IMG Burn is a free and open source um, burning program. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the program. We're going to head, go ahead and click on Write Image File to Disk. Where it says Source, we want to select the folder icon. Make sure you're in your Downloads folder and um, we've got Linux Mint 17 Make This 64 bit. I'm going to go click and click open. The next thing you need to do, you need to go ahead and put a blank a blank DVD into your drive into your DVD drive. It can't be a CD. Uh, a CD is 700 megabytes. Uh, a DVD is 4.7 gigabytes. And this file we're trying to use is just over a gigabyte. So you will need to burn it onto a DVD. So once you put your DVD, your blank DVD into the drive. You should then be able to click this burn icon here. So you click that, it will then burn it to DVD and it will sort it. Okay, so our next step now is to install Linux onto our computer. Before we go ahead and do that, I need to make it, uh, you know, tell you that you need to back your data up. If you're going to install this onto your main machine, you've got to back your data up. Because what happens is, if you install this, it's going to wipe everything out on your computer. Right? So, so please back your data up. Now, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use a virtual machine for this. Okay? So, let me just get quickly get a new machine, virtual machine set up. We just go quickly go through the uh, processor. Okay, I got my virtual machine set up now. Let's just ju let's jump across to here now. As you can see now, we got out. All you need to do, guys, is boot off the off the DVD. Um, some machines you may have to go into the BIOS and tell it to boot from the CD CD DVD drive first. Some mach well, most machines will have a key allows you to bring up a boot menu and in that boot menu you will see your DVD drive you just select that and it will then boot it up okay so let's jump back across here now so you let it to the boot, it boot up and we'll have this that says uh, start Linux Mint so you want to go ahead and click on start Linux Mint
just gonna let it boot up right okay guys so this is our Linux Mint um, this is what you call a live CD so it allows you to try it out add a little mess about with it if you like um, so yeah so we're gonna go ahead now we're gonna start the install by simply clicking on install Linux Mint right okay so we're gonna start installing you want to select your language which is English for me I'm gonna click on continue okay there's just some uh, best for best results you need at least 8.9 gigabytes of hard drive space and connect it to the internet so we'll go ahead and click on continue right okay from by here now this is what I mean by backing up your data. Uh, this computer currently has no, no oper operating system detected. What would you like to do? Now, it's saying that for me for the simple fact is that I have no operating system installed on this computer. Um, it's a new fresh machine. So I'm going to say, yeah, erase disk and install Linux Mint. I'm going to click on install now. We want to select our location, in my case is London for the time zone. I'm going to click on continue. I want to select my keyboard layout which is English UK, English UK and click on continue. Here you can fill in this form now. So you need to type in your, your, your name. So in my, in my case I'm going to type in Christopher Lee I'm going to give my computer a, a, a name I'm going to keep it at Christopher dash virtual box I'm going to go pick a, a username it can be different from your full name so I'm, I'm just going to type in Chris and I'm going to go ahead and choose a password From here now, you've got a few options. You can log in automatically, require my password to log in, and encrypt home folder. I usually just leave this as, as default. I, I'd like to have my password. You know, I like, to, I, I like it to ask me for my password. So I'm gonna let that as it is. I'm gonna click on continue. Now guys, we can sit back, have a nice cup of coffee, and let the system install. Right, so come back now. Um, it just says installation is completed. So all you gotta do now, guys, is remove the uh, DVD from your DVD drive and click on restart. So let's go ahead and do that, is it? So I'm gonna go ahead. I I remove the DVD from the drive and click on restart now.
I'll keep us now just starting. And this looks promising guys, very very promising. And there you are. We now have Linux Mint installed onto your computer. So it's one quick little step. This does have a super you can log in, is it? So let's go back on here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on my username and then I'm gonna go ahead and type in my password to log in. And as you can see, now we're logged in to Linux Mint 17. We can take a look. And we'll go ahead and let's just have a browse around you. Well, we've got a welcome screen. Welcome us to Linux Mint. Um, personally, I would deselect this box and exit out so it doesn't start up every time you want to, every time you log in. There's your home folder, you've got all your documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, templates and videos. So guys, that is, uh, I can download and install Linux Mint onto your computer. I hope this video has helped you, and I'll see you in my next vlog.